This could be our last goodbye, our last goodbye, she never told me why. This could be our last goodbye, oh I won't meet her again. We watched her breathing through the night, through the night, with a candle burning bright. She couldn't get to sleep that night, she won't have that problem anymore. My bathroom looks like a crime scene now, blood on the floor and the walls in the loo. Let's hope they never find her body or I'll be a dead woman too. You are one lucky bastard! I know, but why? We lost her! That makes him lucky? No! Relax! Give me a reason. Your bond saved her! She's alive, yes. I don't know, but we need popcorn! <laughs> well, Akuma and Ziru got in a fight with Orion and Ziru, who's her cousin. Ilibrius allegedly fed her his power to save her. She told him she loved him. That last part is a very important plot point, remember it. I like you. Everyone, neat signs. Anyway, it was either this or Twilight books on tape. <laughs> Here? Could be worse. At least no one's in a pink tutu. <laughs> Yet. It was the only thing that saved her. Barely. But she was saved. Yes, but here, Vaughn will explain. That was far too close. I can tell. Please explain. Are you well, Mr. Valken? I will be well when she is well. I assume the vague dizzy tug I felt was from her. That tug was her soul moving on to the afterlife, Mr. Valken. No, it can't be. I felt it before Caleb told me I was a lucky bastard. Mr. Valken, please relax and let me finish. I had to check on... Uh, Akuma... She's in the waiting room, I suppose. Finish then. I am not given to suspense. Her soul was leaving the body and heading for the afterlife. Oh my god, thank Christ. That's what the Jabberwocky says. However, because of your bond, she was not able to complete the trip. <laughs> I would like to say that it was because of her love for you, but in truth the bond is like a slavery bond. I agree. It was very inspiring. <laughs> if you give her a direct order, she must obey, but because you did not give her permission to leave, her soul stay in this realm. Okay. Where do you work? Since when does a kuma have more than one soul? Why not? To quote a great cartoon, fuck fuckity fuck fuck. Your parents are pretty liberal, aren't they? I'm not 
sure exactly what's going on with mine. I haven't seen them in a while now. <laughs> Don't worry, dearie. I ate mine. Ooh, were they tasty? Was the past tasty? No, much of the past is distasteful. Consider yourself lucky, Mr. Valkin. I'll consider myself lucky when she's fully well. That might be a while. It is true! You are a true bot. Is that anything like a robot? No. There is extensive damage to her soul. What's that? When fighting within zero magic. It attacks the sword. I don't understand. Once I am sure she is stable, she will move back with her hope. Something about soul magic and Akuma being a parasite? Are you familiar with the term Mary Sue? It's a label given to obnoxiously perfect characters whom everyone seems to love inexplicably, and in this case someone who's owed a hyperbolic amount of favours from the gods. We'll fund all your experiments and keep it very hush-hush. You're wearing a lab coat. Either you're a scientist, a doctor, or a kid who likes to play dress-up. <sighs> I don't suppose I could order her to hurry up and get better. No, it doesn't work that way, Mr. Valkin. I didn't think so. If Akuma and Alibrius's bond is truly parasitic in nature, and it stands to reason that Akuma's rate of regeneration could be accelerated by supplying more ENERGY! Few properly phrased orders would help control the use of said ENERGY! Glad she survived. She only survived because of Vu. I'm aware. Then Vu should congratulate Vu herself. No. Why not? Vu saved her. Unknowingly. Jay, you don't applaud the tenor for clearing his throat. You do if it's a nice throat. Vu would rather see her dead than. Vaughn, does this mean your penis is smaller than a baby pickle? Well, Vaughn drew a conclusion from something Librius said that had nothing to do with what he'd actually said. I just did the same to him. No, I'm very relieved that she's still alive, but I did not consciously save her. I have no reason to be proud of myself, but I am glad that she survived. I guess she was right then. I hate to tell, but it must be done. After she is better though, hopefully not for a long time. Right about what? It doesn't matter. Then why bring it up? Tomorrow Vu can call her. She will be well enough to talk. Unfortunately, I cannot use the phone for outgoing calls. Then would Vu allow her host to call Vu? I am afraid she will be unable to talk otherwise, War Majesty. Do you run, Pack Bell? No, but he's feeding off the guys who do. When my host gets the phone, I'll surface. 
Very well. I now know myself. Biblically? It doesn't matter. Anything I should tell her when she awakens? Awakens? A bacon <laughs> bastard! God, can't you even do your fake accent right? Give her my love. Your love? Interesting. Your face! Interesting! How so? I would not have spent that much time last night forcing my energy on her if I did not care for her. You energy rate her because you love her? I'm sorry, what? Indeed. <laughs> you seem surprised. Really? I was going for disturbed. Surprised then maybe a bit aroused. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, we can see that, but that wasn't the line you were meant to say. Oh, amused. Because rape is amusing? Maybe. Why? What's your real name? Well, Orion said that your feelings are nothing more than a spell that should have worn off by now. <laughs> This is only the beginning. However, I do care for her of my own right. But it is not love. Vu cannot love her. I think she was right in telling Vu to erase for memories of her. I think the bullets would just bounce right off. Please don't presume to tell me what I can and cannot feel, unless you care to explain your reasoning behind it. Right now, she needs love and support. The support Vu can give, but not the love. So he's basically her bra? How do you know what I do and do not feel? Who have Thor, Rubeus, and Mehione, not to mention Thor, Usagi. She has an echo of the feeling who have for them and knows that she cannot compete. <laughs> because we all know that true love is a competition. They'd surely kill each other off. It's a capital idea! Last night, Usagi and I were in an argument. Same! He told me that he loved me, and I refuted it, much as you're refuting my love for Akuma. I understand it somewhat. I'm asking for clarification. I told him that he was just infatuated with me because I'd taken him from the hellhole in which he'd lived for over a decade and a half. He told me not to try to rationalize his feelings, that love cannot be explained. Did he? If that were real, it would be lovely. I would never ask her to compete with anybody. Yeah, this isn't NASCAR. You tell him, buddy. It is much the same with Vo. Vo finally have some fun to connect with. Don't give her any more pain. Let go. But he'll never let go, jackass. It is not my intention to cause her pain. Pain without love, pain. I can't get enough pain. I like it rough, cause I'd rather feel pain than nothing at all. 
then leave her be. Another excellent idea! Douse her in perfume and leave her with a hive of them! That I cannot do. Too many I've left behind with too much uncertainty. Then who are going to hurt her? She cannot take another emotional blow. What emotional blow? Why don't you emotionally blow each other? It would shatter her. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure she already knows he's gay. How do you suppose I would hurt her then? She loves Vu. That means the Vu can hurt her more than other people. That's awesome! Can I get her to fall in love with me? Ding dong! Her feelings were never meant. just answered your own question. Neither were mine. What motivation would I have for hurting her? Or are you suggesting I do it unconsciously? Then you should have kept your fucking mouth shut! Caleb. In that case, so should she! Rage quit! She only wanted Vu to know because she wanted to die. Oh yes, I always tell people I love them when I feel suicidal. She wanted to die. Why? It was probably the depression of waking up every morning and looking at herself in the mirror. That's what vodka is for. To drink till you're pretty. I'm drunk off my ass. She's still not pretty. Five thousand years of pain. She had the look at that monk for five thousand years? My god, why hasn't she tried to kill herself before now? The only person she ever truly loved was killed right in front of her face. Probably a suicide as well of the assisted variety. And she never thought or he probably would have done it sooner. She was going to tell Wu, knowing that Wu couldn't return her feeling. I love you, Epiphany! And she was happy that at least someone who knew that this she had loved and was able to love again. Isn't that from Dracula? It was... Closure! Actually, it was more towards the beginning. She couldn't have known that I couldn't return her feelings. No, but she wasn't willing to let a chance go past where she could have Confess and did it. Wu were her second and final chance. Elibrius Falcon. I did everything I could to help her win the battle against Orion. Warlord or not, I have never gone that far for any battle for anyone. And how far did you get exactly? Second base? It used to be that I played the role of strategist and thought of the little things that my army had overlooked. But I'd never gone to great lengths to help my side win. Wu acted on a false emotion, and Wu will regret it! Ha ha ha! I did not, and I shall not. Prove me wrong! 